You know how in poker they say that the key is to watch the other players' faces to figure out their tell? Yep. Well, in recruiting, there's a dead giveaway tell that a person is about to get let go. And the story always starts the same way. Here's how it goes. One of my LinkedIn connections will suddenly pop up out of nowhere asking if he or she can pick my brain. And the story that they start with always says something like this. So I've been at Dunder Mifflin for several years now, but lately, Lauren, things have been changing and the new ownership, well, there's just nothing that pleases them. I mean, they keep telling me that my job is okay, but I don't know, something just feels off. I just have a gut feeling that something is up. So I thought I'd give you a call, maybe we could catch up. Guys, at this point, my friend is in denial and just wants me to confirm that his job really is okay. But in all my years of experience, when your gut is telling you things that are not okay, guess what? It's usually true, they're not. It's just that your blind spot has prevented you from accepting the telltale signs that others can clearly see. The thing is, we humans, I'm speaking from firsthand experience here. We have a real love-hate relationship with our blind spot. I mean, there are things in life that we should have seen coming a mile away, but our darling little blind spot made us just oblivious enough to allow the obvious to sucker punch us. Even the best and brightest have blind spots, and that means you. Yes, you. <laughs> I know that they say ignorance is bliss, but is it? Is it really? Because so far, I haven't been able to come up with a positive benefit of blind spots. Mostly, I've just seen them delay pain. And as much as it stinks, I'm here to tell you that delayed pain is still incredibly painful. And sometimes, the cost of the delay is magnified pain. So what does all this mean for you and your career? It means, dear friend, that you should take the blinders off and examine your career with objectivity. It means that before you're dealt a bad hand, you need to know your options and have a plan. Hey, if your career is completely aligned with your values and you're one of those that are just truly taken care of, and I don't mean just the money, just the financial components, well then I truly salute you and I am so happy for you. But the reality is you're one of the very rare few. And for the rest, my challenge remains, consider your career with fresh eyes and a fresh perspective and ask yourself questions. Are you still learning? Are you challenged? Are you fulfilled? Are you making a difference? Do you enjoy more days than not? Are you solving interesting problems and working along bright and capable people? Are you rewarded and treated fairly? Do you feel like you have a future there? Guys, only you can gauge your satisfaction, but I'd argue that only the foolish bury their heads and refuse to inspect their blind spots with honesty. In my own life, I learned this lesson all too well. You see, even talented people can resist owning up and dealing with their painful blind spots. It's okay to want to cling to security and sameness. It's just a bad idea to actually do it. So I'll close with this. If my message struck a chord with you, then that's your first clue. You owe it to yourself to pop the periscope up and take an objective look around at your situation. And if, after doing that, you determine that you're in the best place, bravo, because that's awesome, that's excellent, that's a relief. But if like so many others, you realize that your job is not fulfilling and you feel compelled to do something about it, to take action, well, I encourage you to carve out some time to check out the resources we have developed specifically for experienced professionals like you at www.raorivera.com. You see, the optimal time to learn how to search for a job is not when you've just lost yours or when you have that gut feeling that something is wrong and that your job's not safe. So be smart, play your cards right, and have a game plan.